Whenever you feel down or a sense of hopelessness about your life, yourself or your current situation and you just need that dose of joy and happiness, these 20 facts will carry you through to find the light at the end of the tunnel. You know what? I want everyone to get super cozy, grab a cup of tea, wrap yourself in a blanket for this video because this one is all about comfort. If you're new here, this video is a part of my series called Watch This When You're, and this is the third part. So if you enjoy this, make sure you check out that playlist because there'll be more there. Remember that all of my socials and my second YouTube channel is linked in the description. And right before we get on with the 20 facts, this video has kindly been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform with literally all of the tools you would ever need to succeed online as an entrepreneur. One thing I find really unique about Squarespace as a platform is their integrated social media tools. I think when you're trying to level up as a content creator and really make a career and personal brand out of yourself, there aren't many tools or companies around online that help you with that, but Squarespace does. I also really love the blogging tool that Squarespace has and it's something that I'm actually currently looking into. Now, while I'm exploring designing my own merch and potentially setting up a merch store, my goal is to set up tamcore.com on Squarespace and I kind of want it to be the entire home of my personal brand so that I can embed all of my YouTube videos into the site, I can link it to all of my socials, but also for so many of you who want to have PDFs of my video content, I'm really thinking about right now writing that out in a blog format. I think that's a great way to find more followers on the web by using SEO marketing, which Squarespace teaches you to do in their blog page. When people are searching up certain questions, they're going to come across your content for the first time because you have a website and that will just lead to gaining so many more leads and opportunities no matter how big your following is as of right now. So you guys should definitely check out squarespace.com and get a free trial just in time for the new year. Once you've had a play around with it and you're ready to launch, you can come back to this video, click the link in my description where you will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, now let's begin with the 20 facts that will give you some hope and happiness. One, every time you remember how badly you were treated or what trauma you went through, remember that you wouldn't be who you are now without it. I'm at a place in my life where I feel the urge to thank all of the people that wronged me. Because yes, it hurt and yes, it took a while to heal, but my Goodness, did it not just make me stronger, wiser, and twice the person that they are? And adversities are such an amazing opportunity to grow because your traumas did not make you stronger, you did that. If right now you can remember any bad past situation that you got yourself through, then I need you to give yourself a pat on the back because if you did it once, why can't you do it again? Two, the universe made sure you didn't fit in. You were an outcast with that group of friends, in that workplace, at school, and maybe you were even an outcast with your own family because actually there's a better place for you to fit in. Your destiny doesn't even match theirs, so why would you be so concerned with fitting in? What the universe has got in store for you is so much bigger and so much greater. They're not supposed to be your circle because if everything was easy and everything was normal and you fit in with everybody you meet and you were the most popular kid in school and everybody liked you, you would have gotten too comfortable. You would have stayed and you would have accepted that life that was given to you even though your potential is so much greater than that. They sent you that adversity because you are the only one strong enough to live that challenge. Three, you control your future. That's it. So yes, the past might have seemed tough, but why are you thinking about that when there's so much possibility to the direction you're going in the future? The choices you make today craft your tomorrow. And how exciting is that? That it's literally all in your hands, all of this power to create any sort of life you could have ever dreamed of. You get the opportunity to decide this is enough. I'm going to change. I'm going to become a different person. I'm going to try something new and I'm going to completely reinvent myself or my life. You can do that at any given moment. Your past doesn't have to define you and it does not have to determine the way that your future goes. And so all that ever counts is how we're spending this minute right now. Four. There are so many people you are yet to meet. There are people that are just around the corner that you are about to meet in your life and you will stay friends with for years and you will know that the wait was worth it. You'll have that unspoken bond and love with them where you wonder how you even got this far without them. I know you have so much love to offer and you have your dream partner that you want and you have your dream friendship group that you want, but what if they want you too? What if your soulmate is out there right now wishing for a person who is exactly like you, hoping that you come into their life at one point? What if your dream best friend that you are yet to meet is hoping that one day she'll just find another woman who has all of the qualities that you possess? You're going to meet all of these people that you didn't even know could love you this much. Five. 
Losing friendships is a beautiful privilege. Why? Because it signals evolution. Outgrowing the people that you might have known for the last several years signals that you're changing and you're growing and you're evolving. You're improving yourself day by day. You're not stagnant. You're not gonna stay the exact same person for the rest of your life. When you outgrow someone, it is a blessing in disguise that you are being redirected on a path that is bigger and better and that's actually meant for you. And that path will lead you to the life that you want rather than the life that you were given. Your impact on others is bigger than you think, baby. Someone out there still looks back on their time and experience with you and smiles. Someone still laughs to themselves when they remember that funny time you guys had together. Someone remembers and holds on to the kind words you once said to them and it gives them confidence on their low days. And so many people admire you, even if you don't realize it, because you have so many silent admirers on this planet. People who love your personality or your aura or your style, or they see you walking in the street and they admire your confidence or how you carry yourself but they're just too shy to say it. You matter so much more than you give yourself credit for. There are so many people that have come across you or seen you out in a public place and have perceived you in such a beautiful way. Eight, your entire life can change in the space of one year. That's it, one year. I want you to take a second, close your eyes and imagine yourself in December 2024. You are looking back in awe of everything you achieved and everything you have become. You were smiling to yourself in December 2024, looking back to where you are right now because you knew that everything ended up working out far better than you could have ever imagined in 2023. Whatever you're going through right now is not going to last forever, I promise you that. Nine, life can start to feel uncomfortable when you start living what you're meant to be living instead of what you thought you were supposed to be living. Meaning, we grow up with all of these ideals about what we're gonna be like when we're older, what we're gonna have, what we should have achieved by a certain age. And if you don't get any of those things by the time you thought you would, that's great. That's great, that means that you're outgrowing that previous version of yourself. You are letting go of societal expectations and you are living life on your own terms as to what suits you right now at the place that you are in your current life. Because unlike everyone else, you value being fulfilled over being validated. So maybe you thought you'd have that job now, maybe you thought you'd be married now, so? What did your teenage or child self know about life anyway? You have had the courage to get up every single day, prioritize yourself, and do what feels right to you rather than what you think you're supposed to do. And I get that that can be hard, so kudos to you for having that courage. Because other people spend a lifetime trying to please others and live up to what they think they should do so that they are more accepted rather than doing what's meant for them and they never reach peace and fulfillment at the end. 10. Life gets a lot better when you just control the narrative. Why are you sat there right now telling yourself that life is sad and unfair and boring? Or you're saying I'm too shy or they didn't like me? Let's control the narrative for a second. What if you don't like them? What if your life isn't boring and it's actually just calm and full of peace and no toxicity or drama? What if you're not too shy and you're just an introvert and that is a completely acceptable way of being? And actually you don't have to be the loudest in the room to be the most confident. You see how easy it is to make those switches? So please start speaking a kinder story to yourself so that you can stop worrying about things that are actually perfect as they are. 11, you are living in at least one answered wish right now. How cool is that? Which means as you continue to go about your day and go about your life, you are gonna keep having these moments where you're like, oh my God, I am living in what I used to dream of. I am living in what I used to manifest and hope for all the time and oh my God, it came. And if it came now, that means everything I'm manifesting right now is gonna come too. I want everyone to pause right now and just take a second to think of one thing your younger self wished she had that she has right now in this moment. Just pause, I'll wait, think about it. You got it? How good is that feeling? Do you remember when you put yourself in your younger self's shoes for a second there? And you remember that, that desperation for that thing that you have right now and hoping, you know, one day it will come or maybe even doubting whether you would get it. And look at you now. Is that not just gonna keep repeating throughout your entire life? So I need you to stop doubting yourself. I need you to stop thinking that you're gonna fail and nothing's gonna come because every single time you want something, it comes. And every single time you want something and it doesn't come, it just simply wasn't meant for you, honey. Sometimes our plans aren't given to us because that plan might have ruined us and we didn't even know it. 12, we need both the light and the dark. 
The purpose of the human experience is to feel and feel deeply. And if we can't feel hurt and sadness and pain, how are we supposed to feel happiness and joy and healing? You can't have one without the other because if everything was fine all of the time, how would we ever experience that amazing feeling of, oh, I made it. There is nothing better than looking back at where you used to struggle and then taking a look at yourself in the mirror today and knowing that you grew from it and you got better. So stop wishing away your adversities because they're gifts. They are trying to teach you something. They are trying to help you grow. 13, no person or experience is sent to you by accident. Every single experience you are given in this life is a transformative one that only you are meant to live. So you should not be sitting there right now thinking that you were really dumb to get into a certain situation or you shouldn't have entertained that person for too long. Did you not learn from it? You're not gonna do it again, are you? And maybe you needed that lesson. Maybe it was gonna make you more confident. Maybe it was gonna teach you more about love and relationships and communication. That fact right there gives me so much reassurance because it's not about you having really bad luck or life being unfair. The simple truth of the matter is you needed that person or experience to get to where you are on your journey and to continue to grow from it. Because at the end of the day, other people are merely experiences and they are sent to us for a season, for a day, for a year, for a decade, however long they are meant to and we do not own them and we do not need to be attached to them. The only person that we will ever have forever is ourselves. Everyone else is merely trying to teach us something or give us an emotion for a temporary moment in time. 14. Self-love and healing is not about becoming the most perfect version of yourself. It's about accepting the worst version of yourself and loving them just as they are because they are deserving of love and they are deserving of comfort and reassurance and to be taken care of. You don't need to do anything or become anything to earn somebody's respect and to earn somebody's affection or to be worthy of the life that you dream of. You are perfect just as you are. You don't need to change yourself. You can improve yourself if you want to grow, if you want to continue to see the heights that you can reach, but there is nothing wrong with who you are at your core. Think about the fact that even on your worst days you are still so deserving of love and happiness and there are so many people on this earth whether you know it or not that are just waiting to experience you in their lives or still think about you fondly even if you guys don't talk very often and they think that you're just a wonderful person. So while there are some people who are going to hate on you and are going to try to tear you down, there are so many people who are just waiting to see you win, who want nothing but the best for you. 15, there is so much life left. You have years and years and years and years and years of life left to experience. You haven't even lived your best days yet. You have so many laughs waiting to be experienced. You have so many adventures you are yet to go on. You have so many successes and accomplishments that are just waiting to be fulfilled. You have so much more of the world to see. There is so much left for you. So whatever's going on in this little year, whether it went right or wrong or horrendously bad, it is literally nothing compared to the long life of happiness you are about to live. It is a speck in the timeline that is your entire lifetime. 16. I want you to think about your haters for a second. I'm sure you're very pained by the feeling of being unsupported and spoken down to, as you would, completely understandable. But I want you to take a second to shift that thought of your haters towards all of the people in your life that speak the winner in you before you even win. All of the people that support you and they just want to see you do well and they will help you whenever you need and they will encourage you and give you a pep talk and wish you good luck and always keep you in their prayers. You don't think about those people as often, huh? All those people that are rooting for you and believing that you are destined for bigger things. It could be 20 people, it could be two doesn't matter. Love, support and hope one person has for you outdoes a hundred haters. And even if you really can't think of anyone that wants to see you win, think about all of the people that are going to love and support you when you do start winning. All of the people you're going to meet who become your biggest supporters and fans. And when that time comes, you're just going to look back and laugh. 17. You do you and I'll do me. Because it's time to stop the comparison. What they do, that group of people, family, friends, whatever, is not right. That right there is not the only correct path to life and the only correct decision that you should be making. That right there, that's what they're supposed to do. I don't want what they got and you shouldn't want what they got. I don't want your relationship, your job, your success, your wealth, your car, uh-uh. I want what's meant for me. I want what my story is gonna turn out like. I want all of the gifts of the universe that are just waiting around the corner for me to have. Because what they do, it's not wrong. If it makes you happy, do it. But just because I, just because we live differently, also doesn't make that kind of behavior wrong. 
I gotta make my own mistakes, I gotta figure it all out, I gotta get to where I'm meant to be, and that is the magic of individuality. You're not supposed to fit in with everyone. You're not supposed to chase this idea of normal. What even is that? You're not supposed to be like and live like everyone else. In fact, you're holding yourself back massively when you try to replicate what other people have. Because what's meant for you only serves you. And it's gonna be the most suitable and most enjoyable experience you will ever have. The life that is laid out for you and that you are currently experiencing and will continue to experience is custom tailored to you. No one else would be better off with your life and you wouldn't be better off with anybody else's life. So I want you to start being more grateful for all of the experiences that come your way because even if they seem difficult now, they are gonna get you to where you're supposed to be. 18, do you know how peaceful your life gets when you just decide to float around every day happily because you ended up forgiving everyone? Now you don't let them back into your life and you don't accept mistreatment, but you do forgive for your own peace of mind. You accept that that situation was just never personal. Whatever they did, it was never personal. You guys were given to each other at that point in your lives to exchange different lessons. You might have given so much love and effort to them and maybe none of it was reciprocated, but maybe they needed that love. Maybe they needed it more than you did. And so the universe put you in their life so that they could get that and the universe put them in your life so that you could gain the wisdom from it. You should never feel regret about giving love and joy to somebody who needed it, even if they hurt you in the process. You should feel grateful and fulfilled that you are abundant with so much love and care that you can freely give it out and you will still be full to the brim with it. So now you're in a place where you have no grudges, you have no resentment because life goes on regardless. You get into bed every single night, the sun rises up again and it's a whole new day. It's a whole new chance to have a fresh start and begin again. The past doesn't exist when there's such a beautiful today to take advantage of. 19. What if tomorrow never comes? Love today, be happy today, smile today because what if tomorrow never arrives? Think about if tomorrow wasn't gonna come, how would you live today? How would you love today? How would you act today? Would you not take advantage of every single minute that's being given to you on this day? Would you not romanticize every single moment of being on this earth? What an honor it is to be alive and to be able to experience today, to be in the human form, to be born in this timeline. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you got given it. And it's time you started acting like it. In the end, the universe always conspires to get you exactly what you want. You will get the thing, you will become the person you need to be and you will live the life you dream of because you're out here doing it every single day you continue to get up you continue to try and make yourself feel better work harder go faster think smarter you get up and you do what you need to do and you take care of yourself even when it feels impossible and that is exactly why you are going to get the life that you deserve trust me okay trust me as someone who has manifested her dream life and got through all of the adversities and lives by every single one of the 20 facts I just told you in this video, trust me when I say you got this. And now that we're at the end of the video, I wanna see you smile. Just come on. You know you want to. You know you have a little bit of hope and I want all of my energy and happiness to be contagious and to be spread through the screen. Just smile with me for one second. I promise you, because it's gonna get all of those happy hormones out and it's gonna make you feel better. I promise. And that brings us to the end of this video. Oh, we just love a good injection of positivity. As always, please comment down below. But let me know which number fact was your favorite. And I'll try and respond to as many of you as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. Act like tomorrow's never gonna come and seize every single moment of the day because that is how you should be living. And that is the amount of joy and fulfillment that you deserve to experience. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.